Guys, this is Mark Goldberg with another episode of Mark Vlogs Watches. And before we move into the meat and potatoes of this incredible video featuring viewer mail and a question, I would like to give you the quick fist watch check. So let's get that out of the way and here she is. Today, guys, I am wearing the beautiful, the discontinued, the apparently ridiculously valuable and stupidly overpriced Batman. Why the hate? Well, you know, naturally, I love the watch. And may I just say, I love it a lot more. Hmm. You may see me occasionally stroke it throughout this video. I love it a lot more since it was discontinued and became, you know, excitingly expensive, wrinkly. But let me just say, according to the video that I'm going to read you off of my computer now, you'll have to bear with me, it's a little long, but there's a payoff, I promise you should like listen to the whole thing. Okay, the prices, oh my God, the prices. The names are going to be changed to protect the guilty. Mark, I recently started watching your YouTube channel and I have been hooked, yes, it's working. I will write more later, but for now, I have an urgent question, and I would appreciate a prompt response. Guys, it is uh, not likely that you are going to get a, an instantaneous response unless you just happen to catch me at a good moment, which um, uh, Manny, I'm going to call this gentleman Manny, which Manny did, and I gave him a prompt response, which you'll hear. Um, okay, and I, I want your prompt response as one of the leading authorities in the field. Apparently, all you need is, a, is an iPhone, a $20 Amazon lavalier, and a Rolex to become an instant authority in the subject. Um, so, once again, my secret plan for world conquest is working. Two days ago, I purchased a Batman BLNR from a vendor in California. Watch arrived with everything except for the barcode tag. That's the hang tag which has the barcode for the watch on it. I paid X on my credit card for this watch. Now, before I tell you what X is, let me tell you what, if you are intending to spend X on a watch, and if X is like a lot of money, like if X is a whole lot of money, you might consider emailing me before you spend X, not after, like Manny. Okay, you wanna know what he paid, you wanna know what he paid for the, you wanna know what he paid for the Batman? that came, um, this is a brief letter, we're almost done it. You wanna know what he paid for the Batman that came with everything, whatever that is, more later, um, except for that barcode tag? You wanna know what X is? Get ready. <laughs> Put on your athletic supporter. X was $19,250 on a credit card. I hope he gets, Manny, I hope you get mileage or points, you know, or something. He says, is not having the barcode tag okay, or should I try and return it? I'd rather keep the watch. Please help. Thanks, Manny. Yeah, so I, uh, Manny got an immediate response, which was, uh, this was the response that I gave. The barcode tag is nice to have, but it is not make it, break it either. The distressing part about this email is the price. Oh my God, the price. The only way it could be worth even close to that price is if it is new, unworn, and still with stickers. Uh, even then, guys. You know, what's this trend of drinking coffee on camera? I know you're hearing slurping and swallowing because there's the mic. It's disgusting. If I were you, I would have fast-forwarded through that. Or send me hate mail. Or put it in the comments. Who are these people who drink coffee? Even Bark and Jack has quit drinking coffee on screen, and that's why. Swallowing is disgusting. Sorry, I did it again. Um, okay, let me, let me go back. Um, the only way it could be worth even close to that price is if it is new, unworn, and still with stickers. And honestly, close? I mean, close-ish, right? But not $19,250. That way you could stick it in the safe and try and recuperate your investment eventually. Very nice example with box, papers, hang tags, lightly used and in good condition. Should be purchasable for $14,000, $15,000 range. And I was kind of very busy at the time, so I didn't have time to do a lot of research, but I think I'm in the right general ballpark. Therefore, I think the barcode tag is the least of your problems. Regards, Mark. Okay. Um, 
I then received the following response fairly promptly. Mark, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your super prompt response. Nanny, you could have dropped 25 bucks on me, <laughs> you know, via PayPal, you know, for the trouble, but you didn't. I will tell you this, but however, you, you know, there's an email out of this, but uh, let me tell you what, I'm not using your name. For $25, I will continue to not <laughs> use your name. Just kidding. Um, I will tell you the story in a subsequent email. For now, the main thing is when I called a few places, the lowest anyone was willing to go for a brand new Batman, box, papers, every single plastic wrapper, meaning all the stickers, on the watch, including the barcode plastic wrapper, is on the 19 side. Warranty card with date and stamp, but no name, it was 18000 Let's see, what is he saying? When the listed price was around 9297 I had the perfect opportunity to buy an 18,000 K with maybe $600 in PayPal fees. But since I was already working with one seller, I figured, let me just finish the transaction. So he's like, eh, what the fuck? Keep going. Even though I found a better price by over $1,000. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. You know why switch horses in the middle of the stream? Uh, $1,100. Yeah. Today, I believe the lowest price anybody can purchase a Batman on a credit card with a perfect example with every sticker in place, et cetera, et cetera, is going to be around $19,000, provided an example even exists. Every day, that price keeps going up. Well, okay, I can't argue with you because I haven't done the research on this. I'm just going to finish through this mess. Um, I just wanted to thank you so much for putting me at ease. Well, I'm glad that I could do that. I thought without the barcode tag, it's a big problem. Well, you know, it's better to have everything, including that. But I don't think that particular tag is the big problem as long as you got everything else. So let's say I keep it in the safe for 10 years. Here's where things I think get a little nutty. So let's say I keep it in the safe for 10 years. And then when I try to sell it, don't you think the buyer is going to ask for a barcode tag? Maybe. Maybe there's another maniac newbie, <laughs> you know, like you. And Manny, don't get me wrong. I like you. Thank you for watching. I don't mean to be offensive. We are here to help. Uh, but you call before you spend this kind of money, not after. So is you know yeah if this if it's a newbie, um, you know maybe they're going to worry about that tag. But you know there's plenty of like semi sort of knowledgeable rational people out there who won't. Are you sure it's a good deal, or not a good deal? And the answer to your question is I'm sure it's an awful deal. This is a horrible deal. Um, except for see here's the thing. It's about the watch, okay. It's about wearing the watch. It's about not worrying about, it's a, it's a Rolex, it's robust. I mean, could you damage it? Yeah, but you know, you'd need a ball peen hammer, you know, or be, have to be like really reckless. These are robust sports watches. These are in the sports watch line. You, are, you can do stuff with this watch. You should do stuff with this watch. But what you've done is you've spent $20,000 to stick a thing of mechanical beauty away and never touch it. I mean, maybe you're going to pull it out and, you know, like the pontiff, snick, sniff and lick it every once in a while. But, you know, personally, I feel like that's a waste. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's a waste. Uh, it's like putting your $20,000 in a pickle jar and burying it. You know, you should like, you know, dance naked. You should go to a you know strip club and make it rain. I don't know. I feel like you should do something with the money and you should do something with the watch. And you could have bought that exact same watch for at least $5,000 less and worn it, enjoyed it. Complete set. And then, you know, for like 500 bucks, 600, 700 maximum later, 10 years from now, service it, polish it up and sell it for like a lot more than you paid. I don't understand this, the whole concept of a just, you know, a safe queen. So, wow, you are a big celebrity, but you replied so promptly. Well, you're paying the price now, but buddy, I cannot thank you enough. You are a good man. Well, I am glad someone besides my mother thinks so. If you ever create a video out of my story, refer to it. Don't use my name. Thank you so much. Manny. Okay. You're welcome, Manny, and uh, you know I'm, I'm glad that you're, if I've put you at ease, I'm glad. Um, so, you know, really, I, I guess that's the, all the, the relevant and important stuff. I just thought you might find this story interesting because here's a guy who, who paid, oh, would you like, would you people like to know what I paid for the Batman? Come on, let's take another, let's take another look. Let's get it a little bit under the light where you can kind of, isn't it pretty? It's, well... We're not in the best light. Hey, come on. Let's go outside. You know what? I think we should just go outside and have a look at this thing in the natural. Well, it's a gray day, but I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to show you that. Ah, oh, here we go. 
the blue. Look how, look how nicely it goes with my shirt. Anyway, the reality of the thing is, is that, uh, you know, Manny, I think you paid a crazy amount of money. If I were you, I wouldn't have done it. If you guys are interested in a Batman, if you really patrol eBay, you're going to pick one off for 12 or 13 And even that is crazy because I paid $7,800. Paint the sky.